the Hasidic movement embraced the joy and the happiness and the rhythm of the klezmer sound, and they created their own Hasidic klezmer sound, sometimes with klezmer instruments, sometimes just with their voices, uh, creating the nigunim, the wordless songs that were so popular and so beloved by the Hasidic movement. And they were always bursting into song and dance. And there's a story where uh, Rabbi Israel Baal Shem Tov, he's the founder of the Hasidic movement, was once asked, why is it that the Hasidim burst into song and dance at the slightest provocation? Is this the behavior of a healthy, sane individual? Because some people thought they were crazy. And the Baal Shem Tov responded with a story. Once a musician came to town, a musician of great but unknown talent, he stood on a street corner and began to play. Those who stopped to listen could not tear themselves away. And soon a large crowd stood enthralled by the glorious music whose equal they had never heard. Before long, they began moving to its rhythm. And then the entire street was transformed into a dancing mass of humanity. A deaf man walked by and wondered, has the world gone mad? Why are the townspeople jumping up and down, waving their arms, turning in circles in the middle of the street? Hasidim, said the Baal Shem Tov, are moved by the melody that issues forth from every creature in God's creation. It can make them appear mad to those who cannot hear the beautiful rhythm of life. So now we're going to see these Hasidic dancers with a little Hasidic melody. Mm -hmm. 